never seen anything like it. It's a bag of asbestos, and there are several of them just sitting out at a vacant lot in One Valley neighborhood. Even worse, neighbors say children cut through the lot and may have come in contact with it. When you ask, we investigate. Contact 13 investigative reporter Stephanie Zeppelin went to that lot near 9th and Stewart, where she's getting results. This is a site the people near 9th and Stewart have been waiting about a week and a half for. Someone loading up these white bags and taking them away. There's seniors, there's young families. I got babies that live in that house over there, young family babies. It's been pretty crazy. Doug DeMacy says an old house here was torn down and some of the materials are in these bags. This is a photo of one that paints a scary picture. Danger, contains asbestos fibers, hazardous waste. If found, contact the nearest police. This is not just one or two people that are upset about this. This is a, this is a neighborhood you know, that is upset. Don Walford says he's been keeping his eye on this property and first spotted the bags. And days later, saw kids under 10 years old walking through this site. Walking through this debris in of itself is not a good deal, but having some of the bags are open, they're not even sealed. We got contact information for the property owner who has a Florida phone number. When we first told him, he said he was not aware of these issues. But we didn't stop there. Hi, Jace. This is Stephanie from 13 Action News. How are you? We also called the city of Las Vegas. Initially, they did not seem too worried because they say this type of asbestos cannot be airborne. I think, you know, it's all well and good that it can't be airborne, but the site is not secure. There's gaping openings in the fence at both the front and the back. So people can get in there and get into it. And this is a block away from a bus stop. A city spokesman told us the contractors would come out Friday and clean it up. So we made sure they did. Friday afternoon, after our calls, they came to clean up the bags. Stephanie Zeppelin, 13 Action News. And we looked into this story after a viewer emailed us. If you have a story you would like us to investigate, just send us an email to 13investigates at ktnv.com and be sure to include your telephone number.